Hello, good morning once again, my dear uh, Mathayum 2 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. So today we're going to continue our lesson about the parallel lines and transversal line. Okay, so last month, uh, last Tuesday, we started already about uh, our lesson uh, on parallel lines. So today we're going to continue more about this topic. Okay, again, as we said that uh, there would be like angles that will be formed if a transversal line will cross or intersect two or more lines, especially if it is a parallel line. Now remember that the symbol we use for parallel lines is this one. Okay, if you still remember, we studied this already when you were in Mathayum 1. Na? So these are the angles that will be formed if a transversal line intersect a parallel lines. So these are parallel lines, line AM and line EZ. And we have here the transversal line, line OH. So intersect this line, uh, transversal line intersect uh, the parallel lines AM and EZ. And we have here different uh, angles that are formed, like corresponding angles, alternate ang uh, interior angles, alternate exterior angles. We have supplementary, or we can we can say this is a co-interior angles. Na? Now remember that for corresponding angles, this are they are equal. Okay, so corresponding angles they are equal. Alternate angles, yes, they are also equal. One will be in the interior side. And the other one will be exterior side. And we have your supplementary or co-interior and co-exterior angles. These are, uh, the sum of this is equal to 180 degrees. Na? So I have here again, the slide that we have before. This one. So again, that uh, corresponding angles. This is the corresponding angles. So again, the, the, the corresponding angles can be found on the same side of the transversal line. Nah? So it, if it is left side and left side, if it's right side, right side. So just like this one, this angle and this angle, they are equal and they're corresponding angle. And as well as this, with this, they are also corresponding angles. Nah? So for this, they are both left side, both right side, both left side. Nah? One, is, uh, one is the exterior and the other one is interior. We have our alternate interior angles. So alternate interior angles, this is interior, inside, in between the parallel lines, but the angles are opposite of the transversal line. So one is facing to the to the uh, left side and the other one is facing to the right side, like these two angles X. There are alternate interior angle, one is to the left, one uh, the other one is to the right, or Y to the right and Y, the other Y is to the left. So they are equal, as well as with exterior. Exterior, these are also alternate, but they can be found in the exterior side of the parallel lines or outside. So like angle 1 is equal to angle 7, which is they are alternate exterior. Angle 2 and angle 7, they're also exterior angles. They're outside. Okay, One will be in the right, the other one will be in the left. Okay? So we have here the different properties, different properties of the of the parallel lines. So first, the corresponding angles, it forms an F shape. Na? It forms an F shape. So you will see there that it's uh, it's like letter F, you see, with a blue color, right? So as I have said earlier that um, uh, the corresponding angles, one will be in the exterior side and the other one is in the interior. This one is alternate interior angles. So as I've said, it forms a letter Z. Na? So angle A and angle B, they are alternate interior, meaning inside, in between the, the parallel lines. And also we have also here uh, the exterior. Okay. Now this one is consecutive interior angles. The sum of the two angles is 180 degrees, or they are like supplementary angles. And it forms like a letter U. It forms like a letter U. Okay, so you see, 
it forms like the letter U. Na? And we have here also the exterior angles, co-interior angle, exterior angle, or consecutive exterior angles. Also the same, this is uh, the sum of this is 180 degrees. So we have here um, angle 1 and angle 8. So the sum of this is 180 degrees. We have angle 2 and angle 7. Na? Now for, uh, for consecutive angles, they must be on the same side of the transversal line. If it is right side, right side, or if it is left side, left side of the transversal line. Na? For consecutive angles. So it's either exterior or interior. But still, again, uh, the sum of the two angles are equal to 180 degrees. Na? Okay. So here we have, again, uh, the, uh, the parallel lines with the transversal line. And for this, we're going to figure out uh, what are the corresponding angles, uh, the alternate interior angles, exterior angles, the co-interior, and the co-exterior angles. So first, we have corresponding angles. What are the corresponding angles here? So you have said earlier that when you say corresponding angles, the, uh, the, the angles can be found, one in the exterior side here, another one is in the interior side, and they are on both face or both side of the transversal line. If it is right side, right side. If it is left side, left side. So first we have the line or the angle PEC. So this angle PEC, or we have here one, is equal to what? So as I have said, the same side of the transversal, this is the transversal line, transversal line FQ, and we have here the parallel line CD and AB, okay, the same side. So you have PEC is equal to PFA. So this angle PEC and PFA, they are both corresponding angles, and they're equal. Na? Okay, now we go to the other side. So this is the, with the left side, and we go to the other side. That is PED. Angle PED is equal to angle PFB. PFB. Nah? So this angle 2 and this angle 6, they are corresponding angles. Nah? Remember that? Next. Now we go to the other side. So we start from the bottom going up. Okay. So here we start from, from the top going down. Now we go, we do the other way, from the bottom going to the top, okay? So we say angle Q, QFA, QFA, QFA is equal to QEC, QEC. So this angle 7 and angle 3, they are corresponding angle. They're equal, 7 and 3, corresponding angle. And the last one, we, have, we go to the other side, right side. We have QFB. QFB is equal to QED. QED. Na? And they are also corresponding angles. So those are the corresponding angles. Both sides of the transversal line, one is in the exterior and the other one is in the interior. Na? Okay. Do you have any question? Now we go to the next one. Alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. So first, uh, interior. So interior is inside. So here in the middle. Okay. So as we know, alternate is alternate from the word alternate. They are opposite. Okay. Not the same side of the transversal line. So if this is the transversal line PQ, now we have here the first one. If we can uh, say this angle 3 or angle 6, so these are alternate exterior angle. So we say angle QEC. Angle QEC is equal to angle PFB. PFB. So this angle here and this angle here, they are alternate interior. QEC, PFB. They are equal and they are alternate interior angles. And the other one, we do the other way. So we have this angle 4 and angle 5, okay? And that would be P, uh, PF, 
PFA, okay, PFA, which is angle 5, is equal to QED. QED, which is angle 4, this one. Na? So they are both alternate interior angles. And we go to exterior. Exterior is outside, but again, they are opposite side of the transversal line. So this is the transversal line. Must one it must be from the uh, from the left side, and the other one will be on the left uh, the right side. And they're also again equal. So first we have here angle P P E C P E C is equal to angle Q F B Q F B. So this angle eight and angle one they are alternate X here because. Because you will see they are outside, exterior side of the parallel lines. Okay, so we continue. We have here, uh, again, for the uh, angle, uh, alternate exterior angles, we have angle PED. PED, okay, is equal to angle QFA. QFA. So, again, you will see that both of them are on the other side of the transversal line. One is in the right side, the other one is on the left side, but still exterior part of the parallel lines. You don't understand my? Okay, we go to the next. This one. This is consecutive interior angles or co-interior angles and consecutive exterior angles or co-exterior angles. Nah? Now again, this one, uh, consecutive angles, uh, the sum of this is 180 degrees. So the sum, the total of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So we start. Now again, remember also that the consecutive angles, they are located on both sides of the uh, transversal line. So if that is left side, left side. Or if that is right side, right side. Nah? Not the same with the alternate. But they are both on the uh, same side of the transversal line. So first we have angle. PFB, we have PFB, okay, and plus QED, so this angle 4 and angle 6, okay, the sum of this is 180 degrees, na? so we have PFB and angle QED, they are consecutive interior angles or co-interior angles, then one more, one more, we have angle P. F A P F A plus we have Q E C Q E C or angle 5 here and angle 3 the sum of that is 180 degrees also na now we go to the next one consecutive exterior angles or co interior co exterior so outside so we have here one is uh, angle P E C angle angle P E C this angle 1 plus QFA. QFA. Angle 1 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees. Nah? Remember that. Angle 1 and angle 7 or angle PEC and angle QFA, they are the sum of the angles are 180 degrees. And the other one we have here, angle PED plus QFB. PED and QFB or angle 8 and angle 2, they are also uh, co exterior angles and the sum of that is 180 degrees. Did you understand my question? So I hope that you understand our lesson today about the different properties of parallel, parallel lines. Na? So uh, if you don't have any question, uh, I have here our activity for today. This one. First, we have exercise given that the uh, line EG is parallel to line FH, okay? So we have here the transversal line AD, it crosses this uh, two parallel lines. Now we're going to list down the different properties of pro uh, parallel lines, namely the corresponding angles. There are four corresponding angles, two alternate interior angles, two alternate exterior angles, two co-interior and two co-exterior angles. So just fill in all the uh, different properties that we have that from here in our uh, figure given. If you have any question, that's all for today. And uh, we see you again next time. Bye-bye!